Hi, I'm Rich Heffron. This is this week's Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Minute. Last week you probably saw the new opening to our Legislative Minute that was put together by Kelly Wetzel, who's actually the producer of this program. She's a young producer just starting out. I'm sure it'll lead to greater things and, and sure I'll coordinate my staff. Um, as long as I've been around, we've probably been better off starting out with the Star Wars long, long ago on a land far, far away. But uh, but this is the, the that was the beginning they selected, and actually I, I think it's uh, pretty good. Uh, gets us off to a uh, a rousing start. This week I'm going to talk about three bills: House Bill 283, House Bill 308, and House Bill 297. I said a couple weeks ago things would begin to pick up with the legislature, and obviously it has. House Bill 283 we've talked about before. It's a bill that does a number of things, uh, some of them favorable to uh, veterans. Uh, but the problem we have is that it requires a project labor agreement on all state projects. Project labor agreement means whoever would win the bid would have to pay union wages, would have to agree to union rules, and the employees, whether they're union or not, would have to pay into the pension fund and pay also uh, pay dues. Um, we don't think that's fair. We think it's costly, and uh, we oppose the bill. As a matter of fact, we just sent out an email to all the House members uh, letting them know that uh, we oppose 283 and think it would be a, uh, not be a, a, a smart thing to do for the state of Delaware and the citizens of the state of Delaware and the taxpayers. House Bill 308. Uh, we've also talked about that bill. It uh, passed the House. It's over. It will be in the Senate Insurance Committee this Wednesday. And that's the bill that uh, workers' comp would allow a uh, injured worker uh, to both recover on workers' comp and also any other insurance that might uh, might, might be in effect. Uh, we think that is in uh, conflict with the workers' comp system that we set up and the changes we set up in the workers' comp system, where uh, if you're injured in a job, you can recover workers' comp, and that's exclusively recover from workers' comp. It'll be, like I said, in the Senate Insurance uh, Committee this week, and we'll find out a little bit more about the bill. We know there is some opposition in the Senate. Uh, we, we think it will drive up costs of workers' comp, and frankly, in the end, uh, companies will start looking at the other insurance they have, such as long-term disability insurance, and they might feel it's not worthwhile to keep that insurance since those costs will go up if people begin recovering from both workers' comp and long-term disability. Lastly, House Bill 297, it's a bill that require building service workers, essentially maintenance people and security people, would have to be uh, offered uh, a minimum of 30 hours a week. Um, essentially, they'd either work the 30 hours, they had to be paid for 30 hours a week, of course, unless they're on vacation or, or on weekends. Uh, we think that's going too far. The government should not be in the business of telling other, uh, telling a private in businesses and private individuals, how many hours they should require people uh, people to work. Uh, that bill is, uh, we're not sure what's going to happen. It isn't it's scheduled for a hearing yet, but we'll let you know if it is. And on any one of those three bills, uh, please, uh, if you can, contact your state senator or your state representative and let them know that uh, you're in opposition to these, these bills. Uh, lastly, the uh, legislative brunch, it will be on uh, June 7th. Uh, at uh, Dover Downs. Uh, the speakers will be the House Speaker, Pete Schwarzkopf, and the President of the of the Senate, Patty Blevins, who will update us on what they expect to happen in the last three weeks of legislature. It's always a good meeting. It's always interesting to find out where they are, and this year it's particularly interesting because by then we might have a little better idea exactly where the uh, state revenues are and how that will affect the state budget. That's it for this week. We'll be back again next week and I'll update you on the three bills we talked about. Thank you very much.